Hey there YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger here again. And if you're like me and you love Spitfire Labs, Spitfire Labs is a free sample library. Um, it's about 10 gig if you download all of it. And it sounds really good. There's a drum kit. Uh, and then there's all kinds of instruments. The drums, uh, I don't know if I'll use them. They sound good, but I, uh, I've i got addictive drums too, and superior drummer too. So I'm gonna show you um, something that helped me to download quite a bit faster. The problem I had was uh, the process, they weren't installing. I was downloading them and downloading them and they weren't installing. So I found going um, every time I'm going to install a new pack, there's 31 sample packs, I will go to the website. So I'll, I'll show you the process here. Um, I'll go with my browser and You actually, uh, I'll click, click on this here, and then actually um, tell it here, hey, I want to download this. Um, now here it's telling me reset the library because this is already installed, but. Uh, I found going through the website and doing it that way that they were actually installing. If I was just doing it manually through the app, um, I was downloading them and downloading them and they weren't installing. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I was getting like a speed of one. I was getting one on the speed for the download, one. So they were taking uh, hours to download. So what I found, um, and the reason I'm making this video is for this uh, two points. Number one, if you're having the problem I was having where you've downloaded them, but they're not showing up, um, you can, you can, there's a couple things you can do. Number one is going through the website and activating it that worked for me number two there's a tick box in the settings that will change your download speed it might it did for me and i went from one to 20 in the speed so that was significant so i'm gonna show you how to do that uh we come over here to the app um i've got nothing downloading <laughs> i'm just about done I've, i'm doing this on two machines but over here we have settings, so we're gonna click on settings. And then here this use cloud font CDN, uh, the stock setting, this is engaged. And it says toggle this off if you're having it, it, it issues downloading. So I toggled that off and, and then I, I exited. And That made it so uh, my download speed went from a 1 to a 20. So also, uh, another thing you can do is go in your Spitfire audio directory, which mine is um, C, C drive, and then users, and then use your username, and then Spitfire and then you go in here and what you do is when you have your DAW open if one of these um, sample sets is not making any sound you can go into the sample directory let's say it's the choir and then delete that choir delete it in samples and delete it in presets you don't have to worry about doing it in patches, just in samples and presets. Delete them both in there. 
and then you'll come back in your app and when you go in it was choir you'll go into choir um, Oh, we'll pick moon guitar and then and then, let's just pretend that this is choir you go over here to this um, guy here and you hit reset and once you reset that then you're gonna go you're gonna go to uh, You're going to X out and you're going to go back to the website and go to, it was choir we were talking about. So I would backspace and then find the choir here. Uh, here, let's say it was moon guitar. The go here and click on this and this will, would come up after it's going to take a minute to load and then you go ahead and do your free download through here and then that would re-download it i found that there's a way um where you can also just go in through the the app and say repair and but that repair uh never worked for me it never worked you could repair it and it would come up like oh i'm re-downloading you think oh yeah it's gonna work nope you got to manually go in to the uh, patches, samples, and presets, excuse me, folders, and delete both of the uh, offending folders. Like if you, if you go into your DAW and an electric panel comes up and there's no electric panel sound, you have to delete, manually delete those folders in the samples. And the presets directory and you have to go through your interface on the app the spitfire app it'll display you go to where it says what's installed and then go down to electric panel or whatever offending one it is click on it, and then in that little in the corner there's a little gear for settings click on that gear and reset it and then at that point X out of the uh, app, go to the browser, and there was a guy that said, log out. Like, if you're really having a problem with this, when you log out and re-log in, the software does a handshake. So uh, they, you they may very well if you if if you and you think, oh man, what a hassle. Well, if you've spent a week <laughs> having these things that move uh, beep every hour beep, and it's got to go over to here, and then when it's done, it doesn't work. And you've gone through that process seven or eight times. You'll find that logging out and logging in isn't that much of a hassle <laughs> so that was how I was able to get Spitfire Labs working for me and I went from a 1 to a 20 on my downloads um, I would recommend you back it up once you get it um, like with us we um, we got one computer that runs slow it runs at like about 4 or 3 uh, on the download the other one it runs um, at 20 so um, I've got two I've got two machines working here and what happens oftentimes you'll uh, you'll end up with um, resetting it and you're, you're not getting anything you're, you're re-downloading it and nothing is showing up in the samples folder so at that point, what I've been doing is taking it from the other computer. If it installed the sample in the sample directory, because that's the bulk of it, that's the main bulk of the file size. Now it's one gig or whatever. Just put it on a thumb drive and pop it over here. I don't have it networked. Um, I know you're getting, 
take it easy. It's an old Win 7 machine that I just built just for SoftSense, and it's not going to be connected to a network or going online. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle using a thumb drive and passing it back and forth, but I don't mind doing that. When it comes down to this constantly being nagged about passwords from Windows and you're you're in Windows 7 and I'm in Windows 10, I won't talk to you. <laughs> I'd much rather use a flash drive than play around with all that network setting up, you know. I don't I don't do do a real lot of file transferring here. And uh, you know, I'm patient enough to wait around on a flash drive, so it's not not really that big of a deal for me. That's how I was able to get our Spitfire Labs going. And again, um, the machine that's downloading slower, what we're doing, we're, uh, the machine that's fast, I'm downloading them and transferring them, giving them to her, and then she puts them in there. And then she goes ahead and runs it anyway. She goes ahead and installs it anyway. And it comes up like, oh, it only, you know, I take the, the whole thing. It's fully installed and working over here and put it in there. And it comes up like, oh, a third of the download sits there and runs and runs and runs but then it'll work you know and it shaves some time off time off the process so that's what we're doing every we got everything working uh except for synth pads is the last one that's not working and she's having to down that load that on hers and then give me the file and we found that on a computer where uh if you're not getting sound like you run through that process and it's not you're not getting sound you can take um, the sample, and what that'll be, you'll have a folder in patches, a folder in presets, but there won't be any folder in sample. Even though it took the whole time and acted like it was downloading a bunch of times, and you can't, no matter what, do it without hitting that reset the whole library, which you don't want to do that. You don't want to reset the whole library. Then you have to re-download everything. So don't don't ever do that unless you're ready to download all of it again. And um, like I said, what we've been doing is just transferring them. And what that tells me is, and by transfer I mean, if she has in the second machine that the sample folder is in there, just grab it off of that, transfer it over here, and it works. The computer doesn't know the difference of how how it came in. Once it's in there, it's in there. So what that tells me is you can back this up. So I'm taking a uh, the whole folder c users pd spitfire labs that whole folder it's like 9.98 gig and i'm trans uh, copying it over to one of my backup uh, hard drives this guy I was watching this guy spitfire labs and he kept saying my my ssds i've got my ssds do you i've got three of them in this machine and i fucking call them hard drives okay pal <laughs> He made a 12 minute video how long is this probably a half hour 12 minute video and it was like you you log in and you have to give your name and then after you've given your name i gave my legal name <laughs> my first and my last name and then after i gave my name down here underneath my name is your password and that's different than the name you put in a password. <laughs> it's like this 12 minute video. And it was like his second video. Like, here's how to get labs going. <laughs> it's like a 12 minute video. Like, you download it. And I guess this guy, I was watching his speeds and they were, they were like, what aren't they? <laughs> like, what do you live next door to the place? Like, what kind of Mac are you on, my Mac? Like, just like everything was just working fine for him. He didn't run into any problems and he made this big tutorial. 12 minute thing uh so th th that was what i went through to get this fucking how of a software to work and the only reason i went through it is because it's free software and it really sounds good so this is highly recommended stuff it's an unbelievable pain in the ass to install it um, and that's just because of the speeds. If it was faster, I would have played around with this and figured it out quickly. But it's also the inter the interface is bad, you know. It just doesn't work. The software does not work. Their app is terrible. It's garbage. Maybe it works on a Mac. That's the only thing I can think. I mean, this computer is Windows 10. It's up to date. 
It's not some old Windows 7 machine I'm on here. This is everything's up to date, legit computer. It's a it's an uh, i7 eight core processor with uh, 64 RAMs in it, three SSDs. You know, it's it's not a piece of shit machine. So getting a speed of uh, you know 10 or 20 Mbps, eh, you know, it should be like 900. That's what it should be. Anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful. And it, to that other guy if, that made that video, if you watched this, I was only teasing. I was only teasing. Uh, I, I watched your videos, and I really, ho I was really hoping that they would help me. And they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. You wasted like 25 minutes of my time today. So. Anyway, you guys, take care of yourselves. Uh, I, I don't need a tutorial to tell me how to enter my username and a password and click download. I, I can figure that out. Uh, and th thank your lucky stars that you live next to Spitfire on your Mac. You guys take care of yourselves. Be safe and peace.